Hello everyone, this is Patak and you're watching my channel. So today I will talk on vitamin B12 and it's the last vitamin B of the vitamin B complex. Okay, so in the next video I will talk about vitamin C. So let's get started. But before starting, please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and you can also follow my Instagram account which is helpful for you forever. So let's get started. Okay, so what is vitamin B12? So vitamin B12 is also known as cyanocobalamin. It's a water soluble vitamin. Vitamin B12 can be termed as cobalamin is the last of the eight water soluble vitamins that serves as a cofactor in DNA synthesis, amino acid metabolism, and synthesis of fatty acid. It primarily aims towards the healthy functioning and development of the brain, owing to its part in the synthesis of myelin boosting the immune system and maturation of red blood cells in the bone marrow. So what is basically myelin? Myelin is a sheet which is covered uh, on the brain, on the neurons. Okay, So basically it's a covering of the brain and the neurons to protect them from shock. Okay, So myelin is a very important uh, component of the brain and the neurons. It's known as a myelin sheet which protects the brain and the neurons from the shock. Okay, so basically vitamin B12 is a very important vitamin B uh, of the vitamin B complex because it is a cofactor in the DNA synthesis, amino acid, metabolism and fatty acids. It also helps in the healthy function and the development of the brain and it also helps in the maturation of red blood cells. So vitamin B12 plays a very important role in the functions of the body. Uh, so this is the vitamin B12 structure and uh, it's a very complex structure you can see that you can see there is a um, you know ketone group there is an amino group there is alcohol group you can also see that there is um, a cobalamin in the center of the structure okay so it's a very complex structure but it is a very useful vitamin B because it helps in various functions of the body like amino acid metabolism, fatty acid metabolism, then DNA synthesis, then maturation of red blood cells. Okay. But it is very difficult to obtain vitamin B12 because the sources of vitamin B12 are really very less. So let's move on to the next slide to talk about the sources of vitamin B12. Okay, so these are the sources of vitamin B12 as you can see in the screen, cheese, eggs, milk, soya milk, fortified cereals and banana basically the vitamin b12 is generally found in the non-veg food it is less found in uh, vegetarian food okay just like in non-veg you can say it is found in the chicken it is found in the crabs it is found in the clams okay and there are various other sources of the vitamin b12 but these are the uh, vegetarian sources that I have mentioned on the slide, which are called by cereals, banana, milk, eggs, cheese, soya milk. Okay, so it becomes very difficult for the vegetarians to attain vitamin B12. So they can use the fortified cereals or fortified milk to attain vitamin B12, whereas the non vegetarians can attain vitamin B12 through crabs, chicken, through salmon, through clams. So these are the various sources of vitamin B12. Let's move on to the next slide. Now, what are the benefits of vitamin B12? So, benefits of vitamin B12, you can see that it helps in the production of red blood cells. It improves memory, it enhances the mood, it stimulates the immune system, and improves the nervous system. So, uh, basically, it is very important to know that vitamin B12 plays a very important role in red blood cell production in the immune system, in the nervous system, it improves the mood and improves the memory. Okay, so vitamin B12, you can say, is one of the most important vitamin B or vitamin B complexes, more important than the other vitamins which are mentioned because it is playing a very crucial role in each and everything, in DNA synthesis, in the red blood cells, in the amino acid metabolism, in the fatty acid metabolism. So it is playing a very crucial role in each and everything. Let's move on to the next slide to talk about the deficiencies. Okay, so deficiencies of vitamin B12 are as follows. 
So first one is the pernicious anemia. So what is basically pernicious anemia? Pernicious anemia is an anemia which is caused due to the deficiency of vitamin B12. Okay. So what happens in this particular anemia is that that there's an intrinsic factor that is secreted by the stomach. Okay. That intrinsic fi- uh, factor is very much responsible to absorb the vitamin B12 from the food source. So if this intrinsic factor is not produced by the body, then there's a deficiency in the vitamin B12 because the body is not able to absorb the vitamin B12 due to the lack of intrinsic factor. So what happens is that there is a low level of blood in the red blood cells which ultimately leads to the pernicious anemia. Okay. So basically what happens is that you are taking vitamin B12 but due to the autoimmune disease that is the pernicious anemia, your stomach is not able to release the intrinsic factor that is responsible for absorbing the vitamin B12 from the food. So what happens is that the vitamin B12 doesn't get absorbed into the body and this deficiency of vitamin B12 basically lowers down the blood levels in the red blood cells. So there is no maturation of the red blood cells. This leads to pernicious anemia. Now the second deficiency is the numbness, like it, the deficiency of the vitamin B12 can cause numbness. Why? Because vitamin B12 is very much important for the nervous system. It helps in generating nerves, it helps in providing nourishment to the nerves. Okay. It basically helps in the formation of the myelin sheath which is very much responsible to protect the nerves or the neurons or the you know brain from the shock. So if there are some problems in the levels of the vitamin B12, it causes numbness okay? in your fingers, in your toes. Then it also causes depression because your nervous system is not working well and you uh, are not thinking properly, you are not able to uh, make decisions properly. So that that's why it can cause depression, it can cause memory loss. So it is very much important to maintain your vitamin B12 levels, especially for the vegetarians because it is very difficult to uh, find out the food source for the vegetarians okay, in relation to the vitamin B12. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really like this video. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I will meet you in the next video to talk about the vitamin C. Bye bye. Stay safe and healthy.